Good morning, Bobcats. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Bobcats. Attendance numbers for yesterday dropped a little. Sixth grade, you came in with 95%. Second grade dropped to 96 And eighth grade, you dropped to 90%. Overall attendance yesterday dropped to 94%, very close to that 96% mark. Don't forget that weekly drawings for students with perfect attendance. Volleyball tryouts will take place today from 5 to 8 in the gym. Students need to play in their 10 ball tryout days and must have a current cage as a sports festival to participate. No exceptions. If you have questions, stop by the office for codes, pages, contact information. On December 15th, the Music Boosters are hosting a band and choir concert along with the Chili Cook-Off. Have your parents enter your favorite chili for a chance to win the grand prize of a three-day to two-night getaway to Gatlinburg, Tennessee. The entry fee is $5 and there will be a winner that will be chosen by the popular vote. All entry forms are due by December 11th. You can pick up an entry <coughs> form from the office. Come out and enjoy the chili and the great performances by the band and choir. For $3, you can get one bowl of chili or three cups so you can sample different chilies. A dessert and a drink. This will be a great night of fun and music. We hope to see everyone there. The BLM Drama Class will be, will be presenting Soapy Smith's Winter Wish on Thursday, December 17th at 7 o'clock in the gym. Based on Owen Henry's short story, The Cop and the Anthem, we meet a homeless man who shares the tale of Soapy Smith former Wall Street broker who went broke and was forced to live on the streets. In the story within a story, we learn how Suppy plans to get sent to prison in order to survive the cold winter months. This doubtful family is funny and touching company for the whole family will enjoy. Please stay tuned for two important announcements. Do it the Bobcat way. Be, be respectful, be responsible, responsible and, and be safe. safe. Have, Have a great, great day, Bobcats. The grocery stocks is shut. <gasps> Didn't see you there. Next week is the final week before Christmas break. We know some of you might think it would be easier just to sleep in or stay home, but we really need everyone here all day, every day. So, to encourage you to be here, the office will be doing daily drawings for awesome prizes. You can win snacks, blizzard coupons, just to name a couple of things. For those students having perfect attendance all week, you will be eligible for movie passes, go-kart passes, or laser tag passes. The office just might be working on getting some other great prizes too. Don't forget about the homeroom challenge either. The homeroom having the highest number of days with perfect attendance in the month of December will get to tape Mr. Connors to the wall during lunch on Friday, December 12th. Remember, you all have to be here every day, all day next week to be eligible. Hey Shelby, did you notice all the teachers wearing ugly Christmas sweaters today? Yeah, what's that about? They're raising money for the homeless. How does wearing an ugly sweater raise money? I'll tell you. Well, next week during lunch we'll have the opportunity to vote for the ugly sweater replacing change into the bucket for our favorite or least favorite sweater. All of the money will be donated. That's a great idea. Students will have the chance to wear their ugliest sweater next Friday, December 18th, and the winning teacher will choose one student from each grade as the winner, as the ugly sweater champion. Good luck. Good luck.